Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Dino. It's a beautiful day here in Niagara Falls, Ontario and I'm about ready to get wrenching on my DR650 to get it ready for tomorrow's morning commute to work. And it got me thinking, you know, everybody is at a different level when it comes to their comfort doing service or repairs on their motorcycles. And I particularly got a comment the other day asking is there a trick to getting the air filter back into the air box on a DR650? Well, the timing was really good because I ordered a brand new air filter and it's in this box here that I want to install today before I go to work. So I thought maybe I'll do a quick video today to tell you and show you how to get this thing into the bike. So why don't you sit back, grab yourself something cold to drink, and enjoy Dino Stinker Shed. You know, there's also a few other things in this box that you're probably gonna get to see in the future. I'll see you in a minute. I just want to make a point before we sort of look at the stock filter that this isn't going to be a video about how to clean your Suzuki DR650 air filter. I have a service video, I'll link it down in the description below if you want to see how to do that. This is just something I missed in that initial video which is how to reinstall that air filter if you're finding it challenging. That's what this video is about so anyway. Let's get a look at the stock filter now. This may sound pretty rudimentary to most DR owners in terms of how to change the air filter in this bike. It's not overly complicated, but if you've never done it before, it could be kind of challenging. So this is the stock air filter. You've seen me take this out before. It's held in place with this small white clip here and this machine screw with a JIS screw head on it. Um, the filter itself in my bike is getting to be pretty old. It looks to me like it's probably the original filter and it has um, a lot of miles on it. The bottom of the filter itself here is starting to get worn out. It's got some tears in it and I'm pretty confident it's probably not sealing as well as it should or as well as it has in the past. So a new filter is in the in the works for this today. Now inside the foam filter there is this plastic cage. This does a couple things. One is it holds the shape of your air filter stops it from collapsing as the bike draws air into the carburation system. And it also fits inside this green portion of the air filter. And when you tighten it up, it seals this green portion against the air box and essentially forms a foam gasket being held in place by this cage. The cage and filter itself has an orientation on it. So if you were to look at the front of this, uh, the stock filter, it will have up stamped into the foam. That means it faces up. The pointy end goes to the right side of the motorcycle. So if you're sitting on the bike, the right side is your throttle side. And the fat side faces the airbox opening itself when the door's removed. When you put this in, you have to orient it around a bit of a plastic horn that's molded into the airbox itself to 
to make sure that it's sealed correctly. Now, why don't we take a look at the new air filter that I have and we'll install it onto this plastic cage here. So I chose to go with an aftermarket air filter to replace my stock DR filter. And the brand that I chose was a Tusk air filter. I also purchased this from a small Canadian company out in Western Canada called Bush Pig Performance. Now, often you will see that I buy a lot of things off of Amazon and there's a lot of great deals on Amazon. But there was also some parts over and above the air filter that I wanted that I wanted to ensure fit my DR650 correctly. And so I wanted to go to a company that I trusted. I have bought parts from uh, Bush Pig Performance before, most notably when we put the parabellum windshield on Carl's motorcycle. That came from Bush Pig Performance. It, we found when Carl reached out, they were super helpful explaining the height of the windscreen, all of that. They're very personal as most small businesses are. When I bought these, well, they recognized my email address and sent along a handwritten letter just talking about the channel and how they like the channel. They are really, really solid people out there and it's nice to be able to support them by buying products off of their company. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description again for Bush Pig Performance. They specialize in the DR650, obviously, but also a lot of other single cylinder adventure dual sport motorcycles. They're a growing company, one that I've been watching for a couple of years now. And it's really, really exciting to see how involved they are with the community, not just selling products. So let's take a look at this Tusk air filter now. So here is the Tusk air filter. It's a nice air filter and it even comes with rubber gloves because like all foam air filters, it needs to be oiled to actually provide the best protection. I do like this and some of the things I like is it does have a similar gasket seal on this. It's got two different types of foam. It's very, very firm, which I like. And overall, it appears to be the same size as the factory one. I'm just gonna pop this out for size comparison to see how this fits. Should just snap in there and look at how nice and tight it fits around this cage. This is what you want so that that foam gasket sits really nice against the plastic air box and forms that seal. Everything appears to line up really well. I just need to massage it a little bit to make sure this fits into the hole correctly. Um, it doesn't obviously have up written on it like the factory unit, but overall it looks and feels really high quality. I like it. So like any other foam air filter, I am going to go ahead and apply some air filter oil. I'm just going to use this K&N air, K air filter oil that I have and then we'll reinstall this thing into the bike. When you do oil one of these, you want to saturate it and then squeeze out any excessive oil that's on there so that it doesn't get over oiled like my past one was. Okay, let's get to work. So I am going to take this new filter and I'm going to install it. The challenge that I always find with this is finding the hole for that locating pin once it's in there. And it's going to be even harder for me because I'm trying to stay out of the view of the camera. Essentially we're going to slide this in until the foam seals around the horn on the air box. Then I'm going to use this locating pin in the hole there push it in and feed our screw in through the hole here. So let's see if I can do this. And 
Now the one thing I'm noticing right away with the tusk is it fits in much tighter, I think because of the extra material around the edge. It's folding in and around that air horn. That's a good thing in my opinion because it's going to seal a little bit more. There we go. So you can kind of see I've got the white plastic holding the air filter in and I just snugged it down here with the machine screw. It's slippery, it's greasy, it's tricky, it takes practice, but you can do this. It's not terribly difficult, it's just frustrating at times. But yeah, that really does seal in there really, really well. That wraps up today's video. I hope you found it entertaining and maybe somewhat educational. There's an old saying that I like that no one knows what they don't know. So there are no dumb questions. Ask away, ask your friends, get online, look up the information. One of the greatest things about a simple motorcycle like the DR650 is the average do-it-yourselfer can tackle a lot of the maintenance and repair projects just by doing a little bit of research and buying a few good hand tools. I would like to take this opportunity one more time to thank the fine people out there at Bush Bay Performance on the west coast of Canada. They were so helpful helping me pick out what air filter I wanted and a couple other parts that they delivered for me. And they just were a very, very nice small business that's there to help you out if you own a DR650 or other single cylinder motorcycle that's basically the same bike. So give them a shout. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're looking for some parts and give them a try. They're, they're pretty fun. Until then, I got a couple more things I need to do before I get off to work. So I'm going to leave you here, but remember, tinker easy. Bye for now.